Hey everyone, what if I told you that you could play PlayStation 3 games on your Android device? Sounds impossible, right? Well, think again. In today's video, we're unlocking the power of Olympus, the PS3 emulator that's making waves in the gaming world. We're talking smooth 60 FPS gameplay, full controller support, and the ability to run a jaw-dropping number of PS3 exclusives on your phone. But here's the burning question. Can it take on heavy hitters like Uncharted and God of War without a hitch? Stay tuned, because the performance and compatibility will leave you stunned. Before we start the video, let me introduce Olympus, a PS3 emulator inspired by RPCS3, the leading PS3 emulator for PCs. Olympus allows you to play PlayStation 3 games on mobile devices. Currently, Olympus is in its alpha version and is available only for internal testing, developed by K1R4. It's still in the development phase, but the dev team has given us access to test it via their Discord. Let's dive into the system requirements for Olympus. It only supports high-end processors and requires at least 12 gigabytes of RAM. For the minimum requirements, you'll need a Snapdragon 8 Gen series or equivalent. That's pretty demanding. I'm not sure I can even fulfill those requirements. But here's the good news. Olympus can also run on Exynos and MediaTek processors, which is great since some Android devices don't support other chipsets. Now that your device is ready, it's time to download the Olympus emulator. We need three elements to download. The Command, Termux, and Termux X11 apps. You can find these from any site or our Discord server. Another important element is the PlayStation 3 firmware, which I will show you later. After downloading all these elements, we will install and set up the Olympus emulator. First, install the Termux and Termux X11 applications simultaneously. If you encounter any warnings from Android, just ignore them. Launch the Termux app and grant the necessary permissions for notifications. Next, we need to execute a command to start the installation. This command is in my notes. Simply copy it, return to Termux, long press to paste the command, and press enter. Termux will begin installing the necessary packages, which typically takes 5 to 10 minutes. Ensure you have an active internet connection during this step, as it is required for downloading essential files. Additionally, press Y whenever prompted to confirm actions. Once the installation completes and you see the prompt on your screen, it means we are almost finished. Now we need to use another command to launch the Olympus emulator. Keep in mind that every time you reopen Termux, you'll need to re-enter this command to launch the emulator. Once the emulator is running, navigate to the driver section and select either the wrapper or turnip driver. The wrapper driver works on all devices and supports Vulkan, while the turnip driver is specific to Snapdragon devices and supports OpenGL. Avoid selecting the first option and ensure you press Enter twice to proceed. Next, launch the Termux X11 app. Here you can see the RPCS3 emulator installer, but we need to adjust the resolution. To do this, tap and hold on the Termux X11 app, select Preferences, open the Output Settings, and choose Exact in the Display Resolution mode. Then select the Display Resolution. I recommend using a lower resolution for better performance. Enable Adjust Resolution to Fit Screen and Stretch to Fit Display, and also enable Full Screen mode. Finally, open the keyboard settings and disable the Show Additional Keyboard option, as it is no longer necessary. However, the setup process isn't done yet. Click on File in the top right corner, then select Install Firmware. Navigate to the folder where you stored the firmware file. To download the PS3 firmware, open the Chrome browser and search for PS3 firmware. You will see the official PS3 website in the search results. From there, you can download the firmware very easily. Then select the file and open it. Within a few seconds, it will say that the PS3 firmware has been successfully installed. After that, it will start compiling the PPU modules. Next, let's install games on the emulator. Go to File again, then Add Games, and select the game file from your file manager. It will take roughly three to five minutes to complete the installation. Another important fact, the Olympus emulator does not come with a touchscreen controller. This means you have to use a mouse and keyboard or a Game Controller Plus app. First, open the Game Controller Plus app and go to Manage On-Screen Keyboards. In this section, enable the Game Keyboard option. Once it's enabled, return to the main screen. Next, click on Step 2 and select the Game Keyboard from the options provided. After that, you'll see a Settings option. Click on it to continue. In the Settings menu, you'll need to map the buttons to your liking. Customize the buttons as per your preference. Here, you'll see the on-screen controls displayed, which are fully compatible with the Olympus PS3 emulator and ready for use. 
However, these controls didn't work for me. Instead, I used my Bluetooth keyboard. Currently, I'm playing a low-end PS3 game, Limbo, because Olympus is still under development. We'll need to wait for future updates to achieve maximum performance and compatibility. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more gaming content. Happy gaming and I'll see you in the next video.